Well, there's an hour in the day when you know you have to be at a certain place. And everything that you did that day has to stay outside. And you've got to transform yourself from that person to a person that the people have a lot of expectations in. And so that's a very slow, timely process. It doesn't just begin and end when you're donning your robes. It is a, what you might call a shift from physical activities to spiritual activities. I'm sure that all ministers of all religions go through the same process. Uh, so for me, it's, it's really slowing it right down so that I'm in control of it and that when I step in front of the people, they don't see Mita, they see the Apotaro, who's, who's going to carry out the service and who's also going to share some wisdom with us, hopefully. The message is what the people hear and the kākahu are what the people see. I remember my auntie saying to me that, you know, going out at night to do whakamoemiti for someone who's māwiwi or ill is a really important role and that they could remember when they were growing up and their old people were māwiwi and not well. This incredible thing used to happen. They used to see the aapōtō were coming up the road and straight away, whakapikiora. They used to get well straight away, you see. The robes do mean something, the symbols on the robes mean a lot to these people and just that alone can have a healing effect. Same with people respond to music. The hymns can heal, the words in the sermon can heal. And the appearance of an apotro or an afina can also heal. The Old Testament refers to the, the garments of Moses' as, um, apostles or ministers as being white, purple, red, all those colours that you'll see uh, the Latana apostles wear as well, particularly the Apostle Rehita. The kākahu of the Apoto are strongly linked to the, the symbol of the star and moon, and particularly in the colours. The, the blue, as I said, being symbolic of the father, uh, the white of the sun, the red of the Holy Spirit, the purple of the holy angels, and the pink of one we call the anointed one, or the mouthpiece of God, te mangai. So to us, that is that the main symbol, it's actually the only symbol of our faith. Ake atau anō mai koe te tamatarangi māria te nei haura. Ake a whakamoe me te tātou. Nō rere ke a whai kloria koe i hoa ngā mana mati wa tama wairua tapu mā koutou ana hera pono me te māngai. Ta tiu hiu ki te kāhu i ariki wairua te ara pa te oma ka periwiri i tua hamara ka te māngi no ke roto. Tēnei mātou wā koutou puno ngā tatu māri nei ki mū kia koutou haura tēnei ahiahi e ngāriki. E tukua tēnei mātou mātou reo whakamoimiti whakawhetai me nei klori a tanga mā tēnā kia koutou. Mō ngā tini manā ki tanga iuhi nei koutou ringa i a mātou mai te tīma tanga mai a tō mātou hui a tau no mai ki tēnei wā. Me te inu i ka hatu nei kia koutou i manā ki tia mātou i roti a mātou hi koe. I roto anō hoki a mātou mahi. Ki a whai hua, ki a pua wai hoki ngā ahua tangi whakaahua nei mātou i roto tō koutou klori a tanga. Manā ki tia mātou ki te a mātou i a koutou i whiwhi nei mātou i te oolonga tina me te ronga wairua. Whakaungi mai mātou i roto kātou koutou arohono ke paihira tiega tarangi māori a tanga mō ngā wākatoa. Ta māngo i ngā reki a tautoko mai, ai a nei, a ake nei. Kia ora.